What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Plants vs. Zombies Top 10 Things video. Today, I'm going to be doing kind of like a branch off series of the Top 10 series. If you guys don't know, I do a lot of Top 10s on this channel. Like Top 10 Things I Bet You Didn't Know, Top 10 Glitches, Top 10 Easter Eggs. And now, I decided that I'm going to try out a new Top 10, Top 10 Most Annoying Things in Garden Warfare 2. Literally just going over some of the most annoying things that can happen to you in Garden Warfare 2. This is just overall anything in the game literally anything from abilities to characters to maps to cheaters literally anything if you guys do go on to enjoy make sure to drop a like if you guys are new subscribe let's get into number 10. coming up at number 10 we're gonna start pretty simple and stuff that happens kind of frequently but it's still pretty annoying coming up at number 10 is going to be midair burrow now it's honestly no surprise that most people would agree with this being on the list some people may have it higher than others but i have it at number 10 because this normally doesn't really happen because what is required for this to happen is the circumstances it's 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 pretty low chance that this will ever happen to you because a lot of the times it's because of lag chompers themselves are annoying but it's even more annoying when you're playing for example super brains and you're jumping high and then a chomper eats you midair it is very frustrating and the reason why it's number 10 is, as I said, it doesn't happen a lot, but when it does happen, it is quite annoying, especially if you're on a streak or you're just trying to escape a chomper. They basically don't deserve the kill, and the game gave it to them anyways, and they killed you because of it. Even though you know you should have gotten away with it, you didn't, and I don't know. It's just something about mid or burrows that everybody just hates, which it's not something about them. It's the fact that they're, it's like literally cheating almost, you know, it's like they, they eat you midair. It's annoying. It's annoying. Coming up at number 9 is going to be snipers in the back of the map. This goes for any character. It doesn't have to be specifically snipers like cactus or pirates. It could be anything. For example, barbecue corn is annoying as hell when there's a barbecue corn in the back of the map. Corn as a class is supposed to be played up close, especially barbecue corn. And having someone sit in the map, tick away at your health when you're trying to kill other people is one of the most annoying things in Garden Warfare. It is so ridiculously annoying especially on a map like great white north where the second point the people coming in the attackers have a height advantage it's ridiculous it is just so annoying and i just want to punch whoever does this it's number nine because as i said with uh, number 10 it doesn't happen a lot but when it does it is quite annoying um it's uh, it's not only like barbecue corn it is fire characters and ice characters and literally any character if you're playing a character in the back of the map just sitting back there the entire game which i know you're supposed to be playing uh snipers like that but it's annoying. It's just so annoying having people take away at your health over time. And you can't do anything about it because you have to go up to them. And by the time you go up to them, you're low and then they just kill you. So, and again, there's not many points on many maps where you can do this uh, at a high vantage point. It's just certain points where you do it and it's like almost impossible to die up there. Coming up at number eight is going to be just frozen characters in general. For me, it is specifically Arctic Trooper and Ice Cactus. And Ice Cactus and Arctic Trooper go for number nine as well. If they're sniping in the back of the map, this is a double whammy and I just want to die. But back to frozen characters, something about the ability to hit somebody a couple times and then they're literally frozen in place for a couple seconds is just so overpowered. And it's not even when you get frozen. It's also when they shoot you you slow down it's just so ridiculously annoying especially playing a character like for example if you're playing like armor chomper or metal pedal or rock pee for whatever reason you might have and you're automatically slower by yourself and then you get hit by a ice character you're just so much slower and it's so ridiculously annoying because that's their primary weapon is ice and as like and back to arctic trooper he hits you like five times and you're frozen and he has like 25 more shots and then Ice Cactus just sits in the back of the map and freezes you the whole time. Super annoying. Obviously, Ice characters, like, if you if you want to play an Ice character, you know, you can play it. But it's still annoying. It's, you know, it's it's ridiculously annoying. They, it, they're they busted. They're absolutely broken. And I hate Frozen characters with a passion. They're the most annoying element in the entire game. And nobody will ever take that away from you. Coming up at number seven is, everybody's going to agree on this, Ability Span. You've been in a situation where you've been fighting someone and they just use all their abilities on you in like three seconds, which two classes I can name are All-Star and Corn, because they have the spammiest abilities out of every single class. All-Star, it goes Imp Punt, Sprint Tackle, and then Tackle Dummies. Corn goes Husk Hop, Shuck Shot, and then Butter Barrage. And if those don't work, most of the times the player on the other side is gonna die because he's used up all his abilities 
Now he doesn't know how to use his primary, so he's going to stand there and die. And then he gets his abilities back, so he can do it again. The abilities are obviously made to be used, but it's just so annoying when all people know how to do is spam them. Like, you have a primary, my friend. Especially as Korn. Korn's primary is amazing. Korn, overall, as a class, is an S-tier class. Korn has nothing wrong with him. His abilities are all S-tier, and his primary is an S-tier, especially regular Korn. Like, he has, like, 50 shots, and they each deal, like, 10 damage if you're up close. There's no reason you need to be ability spamming. Obviously, there's times where it happens. I've been there myself plenty of times, where I husk hop and then shuck shot, and then I notice, like, oh, I'm being an ability spammer. It happens, but the people that do it all the time, talking about 24-7, they don't know that Korn has a primary. They think he's only made out of abilities. So annoying. Coming up at number six is kind of a specific one. It's when your high kill streak ends from a mistake. So what I mean by this is, let's say you're on a 35 kill streak. You're playing really well. Seems like nobody can touch you. You're basically untouchable, and you're just you're doing really well for yourself. And you accidentally fall down into some chompers and your streak gets ended. It's happened to me, that specific thing. I was on Lunar Landing, and I fell down, and there was two chompers below me, and they killed me. And I was on like a 35 streak, knowing that it could have stayed if I just didn't fall. I don't know, something about making a mistake like that, that big, is just so annoying to me, because it doesn't happen almost ever, because I'm never really on a big streak. But when it happens, I want to punch a hole through my TV. It's super ridiculously annoying, especially since I almost never go on high kill streaks. And some days I'm just doing really good and I make a mistake. I fall and I lose all my progress. Coming up at number five is when you join a game and see a turf map you don't like, only to have the next game be the same map. We've all been there. You load up Guard One for Two. You either load up Mixed Mode or Turf Takeover and you see, oh, Seeds of Time. Yet again, you play the match with a frown on your face, and finally the game ends. You play the match with a frown on your face, and you finally are done the game. You're so happy that you're finally going to get a new map, and it's Seeds of Time again. Not to call out Seeds of Time specifically, I'm just not a fan of it, but when you load into a game and you don't like the map that you're playing, and you have to play a full round just to play it again, it's pretty annoying. I don't know if that's to, that's for everybody, but that's for me. Sometimes on stream, I'll be complaining about it. So far, it doesn't happen to me. I usually get what I want. For example, Great White North. I always get Great White North. I'm really happy about that. But it's just a little thing that happens kind of frequently, and it's, it's, it's annoying. It is. Coming up at number four is when you can't switch teams. We all agree with this. You want to play zombies, but you're stuck on plants, and you just you're, you get upset. Because, you know, I want to play Breakfast Brains. I don't want to play Vegetation again. I want to play Breakfast Brains. I want to play a zombie in general. And you can't switch. And what makes this even more annoying is when you're looking at the leaderboard, you're stalking it, and you see you can finally switch. So you quickly respawn just to see that somebody joined. You can't switch again. It really is annoying, but unfortunately, they can't just let everybody switch whenever they want or else the game would be broken. So it's a good thing that it's not like this. But... It is still really annoying to happen because this happens it happens to me almost every video and I get really annoyed by it. Coming up at number three is getting excited to see a legendary only for it to be a hat. You're opening packs, you finally grinded enough for a couple wondrous packs of greatnesses. You really want that character. You open the pack and you hear that music. You open your eyes only to see this. It's not a good feeling. You know, grinding all those coins just to get a hat that you're never going to use. Would have been so much better if they just gave me nothing. I would have been happier with that if they just told me, hey, look, we were going to give you a legendary hat, but we felt bad, so here's nothing. I would have been like, all right, you know what? Thank you. I didn't want that anyway. I wasn't using it. Everybody can relate to this. Everybody that has the legendary characters has had this happen to them once, and it is annoying to all hell. Coming up at number two is campers. Come on, let's be honest. Campers is one of the most annoying play styles in Garden Warfare 2. Sitting up on rooftops or camping in the back of the map, kind of like snipers in the back of the map. Instead, you play any character and you just camp in one spot the whole game. It's ridiculously annoying because a lot of the times these players have mastered the art of camping to the point where every time you try to kill them, they know all the spots and they're going to outsmart you and they're going to kill you. There's nothing you can do about it. Becoming a camper it takes a lot of skill to not want to just jump off roofs and just kill people. You have to be determined. You have to know how to play a camper character, kind of. Which any character could technically be a camping character. You just have to have the determination because I've tried it and let me tell you, it's boring. And that's what makes it so damn annoying is how the hell do you have the attention span to sit on a roof for five minutes with no action? 
Just because you want your KD to be positive, really? Get down there and fight like a real man. Coming up at number one, absolutely a surprise to nobody, the most annoying thing on this list, targets. Come on, say it with me, targets. Guys, come on. If this game could have one thing that I would say, if it was removed, would be so much better, rock pee, but also targets. Yeah. Also, tar you know, targets too. So two things, but mainly targets. I cannot stand hopping into a game and being targeted. Not to toot my own horn, being a YouTuber, this is a lot more frequent than the normal player because people see you and they say, hey, look, it's this guy. Let me annoy the shit out of him and kill him 50 times in one game because that'll show him that I truly like him. And I just, I, 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 I don't know what it is, but I really just want to punch things. I want to punch a hole through my TV whenever I get targeted because another thing is I'm not a disrespectful player. I don't play many OP characters all the time. So why are you targeting me? There's no reason. Some people honestly just do it for no reason. You know, back when I, back in like 2017, 2018, I would just get targeted for literally nothing. For li for, for playing, you know, I, I'd be playing like fire pea shooter very fairly. And you know, some guys like, oh, nope, I hate this guy. Someone pissed in my cereal today. I'm going to show him. And he targets me for the rest of the game. You know what I mean? Like, it's ridiculous. Why? Focus on get, like, I don't know. Do something else. Just don't target me. Why would you target me? I'm... I'm a nice person. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new, subscribe. Let me know your opinions down below on the most annoying things in Garden Warfare 2. And maybe they'll be featured in the next top 10 most annoying things. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.